If you've been lurking in uh, closure discussions, forums and places where people talk about practices, you will notice that uh, closureians like to say libraries over frameworks, meaning they prefer to work with libraries instead of frameworks. But then you have to ask the question, what does that mean? I heard once uh, someone say that you call the library, uh, but the framework calls you, which I like. That's some kind of a definition which is in, you might be starting to sense what's going on there on an intuitive level. What people mean generally with framework is some kind of a um, generic functionality being provided to you so that you complement it with application codes or, or specific codes, which allows you to progress fast and produce an application or a part of an application. In web development, because there are so many moving parts, it's a target for frameworks, for framework authors. Developers often don't master all the moving parts in web applications or in web, uh, web development. And a framework can bridge the gap between that lack of expertise in all the moving parts and producing, being able to accomplish something in that field. So I would argue that it's a good thing. Um, when Ruby on Rails came out, it showed uh, millions of developers how to build for the web when they didn't necessarily know how to either write JavaScript or HTML or CSS or SQL queries for that matter. Ruby on Rails wrapped all these technologies and gave you one package and the contract was learn Ruby, learn Ruby and learn the, the framework and that's it. That was an incredible booster. It was a good deal for many people and the rest is history. I would like to revisit the video that started it all. This demo of Ruby and Whale by DHH, David Hanemeyer Hansen, demonstrating how to build a blog engine in, in Ruby and Whales. It's a 16 minute video, something like that. And what I want to do is, to, is take the opposite, the opposite approach. In this video, I just want to use a web server and a bit of SQL and, and HTML, and that's it. Nothing else, no libraries, no, no fancy stuff. But yet I want to recreate this blog engine that David, the DHH um, demoed. So we'll build a, a blog engine in Clojure, in a Lisp, on the JVM with no libraries. This is not for, for demonstrating best practices, absolutely not. This is an exercise. It's an exercise which has educational value, which has cultural value because it's also a homage to, to that famous video, 2005, so 15 years ago. So I think it's going to be fun.